What's up everyone, my name is Swift Edge, aka Brady Young, and welcome to the shore. Now this is a demo of what I'm hoping will be eventually made a f full game, because you know, I've seen how popular it is on itch.io. I saw so many comments about how great this game was, and I knew I had to play it. I saw a couple other YouTubers that I follow upload this. I didn't even bother watching, because I'm like, no, I want to play it and get the feel of it, because the images look stunning. The comments highly praise this game, so I, I'm i not even going to talk anymore. We're just going to go right ahead and start playing. Whoa. Ellie, my dear Ellie. That is the fighter. Oh, there's a voice acting. Oh. Whoa. This. Holy crap. This. Oh, I have legs. I've never been so happy to see a body because not every game wants to do that. Oh. Bruh. This looks absolutely beautiful. Now, another thing that drew me in about this game was when I looked on the Itch.io page, it talked about how it was very Lovecraftian in style. And me being me, I love a good Lovecraftian style game, okay? I still need to play Call of Cthulhu. And I'll be doing that for this chair. shred of hope. All oh, what a man needs to keep moving before he loses his sanity and his will. Walking along the shore reminded me of the walks I used to have with my wife. Okay, so I've opened inventory to learn more about the items you acquire. So use I key. Whoa, that's a that's a different kind of inventory. I can't click on that though. Oh no, I can click on this. Ugh, okay, that's a little wonky though. My wife gave this pendant to Ellie before she left us. Glad to have found this. It's very important to her. I refuse to believe my daughter was swallowed by the vicious sea. I'm sure she washed up on the shore somewhere around here. I will find her and give this back. So we are talking about how we walked on the shore. Are we talking about this shore in particular or no? Because I'm feeling like this might have been our boat and we crashed up on the shore. So I'm thinking we probably had a really bad storm happen while we were out. What I'm assuming is that we were fishing. We hit a really bad storm and then we just got tossed up on the shore. I mean, it makes sense. Now, because it is a Lovecraftian style game, that means there should be some very interesting things. Especially from the images on the page, it looked like there's going to be some very uh, interesting looking games. Now what was, what really also told me that this was a really high top game was not only was it on the trending page near the very top, was that the guy had posted three different links because so many they people- speak of a fisherman who was lost in a stranded sea. He never came back. Now I know where he lies. Mm. What misfortunes could have drove him here? Oh wow. I mean, the sea is cruel. It has a mind of its own. Mm, why are there candles over there? But no. Some people were trying to download the game that the traffic was bogging down the links. So it was so difficult. So that made me want to play this even more because, you know, if the links are that bogged down, it means that this is a really good game that people really want to play. I mean, look at it. It is very stunning, very beautiful. I like the indicators. Very much an octopus. Or Cthulhu. That's a bone. Cthulhu. Uh, what? If offering my right arm spoke the correct words in his absence, only pain accompanies me towards my demise. I was forced to leave the lighthouse. Only the slumbering god can save us now. Yeah, the way this is talking about. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's talking about Cthulhu, because Cthulhu is always seen as this deep, slumbering god. I have not read all of Lovecraft's stories. I, I own a book by him. 
it's like a lot of these short stories or whatever, and I really want to read them all because I'm so... The sound design is really nice. Because I really want to read more of the stories and everything and see more into the lore. I really want to play the game that is like Call of Cthulhu. Because I know there's two, but there was one that was really official that was released not that long ago. Like maybe a couple years. And it looks so good, so creepy. And like they always talk about, and like from my understanding of all the stories, is that Cthulhu is always slumbering. That he's always asleep. That... I mean, in a lot of the, the music picks up, and I like that. But it goes back to being a bit soft, almost like giving this like false sense of security that you know something might happen, something might not. It's a really nice design for the lighthouse. As we sinked our feet in the sand for the last time, she asked me to tell her one of my stories about the wild sea. I could hear each of her breaths. Shorter and shorter. By the time I finished my story, pneumonia mm -hmm. took her life. I'm assuming that that's about that what he's talking about is about his wife. What is that over there? Do we get to explore that during the demo? Or like, I'm really hoping that you know it doesn't take too long for this to get turned into a full-fledged game that we get to explore everything over there because that looks. Absolutely amazing, but to back to what I was talking about was that everything that you see depicted, from my understanding, is Cthulhu never really gets fully revealed until near the very end. Because I mean, you know, if, especially if, like if he's being reserved for final boss type thing, that would make sense. But like whenever it comes to anything Cthulhu, I'm just like, I want to see him already. Just got a random boat, got a weird looking. Is this a? Fossil or a weird obelisk looking thing? This is. That is strange, but cool. That is. Ooh, there's lots of candles everywhere. What is that? What am I seeing? I'm gonna have to zoom in <laughs> later to see. And there's. What looks like gigantic stakes pointed embedded into the stone. So I'm going with you guys, we're trying to keep something out. There's a... I don't have the key for that. Someone was out here cooking. And you know what's really nice is that it's so bright, well not like bright out, like it's sh sunny and shiny, but it's bright out and that... Oh, the color changes as soon as I step near. But like, it's giving me this false sense of security of like, oh, Everything's gonna be okay. Nothing bad's gonna happen. I mean, the sun's out. Why would anything bad happen? What is... <gasps> this is I think this is for the statue outside. Well, that was me putting it away. <laughs> That's for the statue outside. The obelisk. Pedestal. Whatever. I want to go upstairs if I can. But no, I've got like this sense of security that I'm like, oh, everything's gonna be okay. But I also am kind of figuring, like, deep down, nothing's gonna be okay. Can I take one of these? I want the trident. I want to be Aquaman. Doing some painting, getting some weapons ready, got some hooks. I mean, fishing, so... Got... Whoa. Got a lot of interesting statues around here. Some big and some small. I mean, what else are you supposed to do while you're here, besides... Making sure the light's running. I mean, you paint, you read. This artifact we found, the statue, looks ancient. Our captain says we should take it back with us. It can make us rich. David of the other... David of the other hand believes that a fall... A stench of evil dwells within it. Okay. What is that? Whoa. Are these... I think something's outside. Whoa, that is... A normal body shape. No way, really? What told you that that was... What is making that noise? There's still more to explore and I want to look up here. I'm not seeing anything else up here though. Like in that area. Can I take the axe with me? 
Because whatever's making that noise, I don't think it's friendly. I think it's far from it. Can I see through this? Oh, I can. Whoa, that's a nice zoom in. That boat looks put together. Do we have to use that to escape? I want to know. I can't even look over, but I'm going to zoom in on it in editing. But I want to know what that tall tower is. Because that looks really cool. Ooh, something wasn't happy about the light. Is there anything to do in here? Oh, I saw the light. What? I turned the light on, I guess. Is there anything else? I got the light running. Sorry, that wasn't running before, but now it's going. Seriously, I want to know what that is. That looks... That looks so out of the ordinary compared to everything else around here. There's a ship over there. I'm assuming we escape through that. Tons of broken boats, so obviously this light hasn't been working properly. There's no way to get up on top of there. But I want to... But what is that? I need to see what that is. So I think that's our next point of interest. Something was making noise down here, so we gotta go investigate that. They definitely had weapons ready just in case they had to fight anything, which, I mean, I think that they fought against something because no one else is here. Wait. Oh, I found the key. So I can now get into that cellar. Maybe it was... Maybe there's something moving down there. Nothing came in here, so... That's a relief. <laughs> There's a bit of a path over there, but I want to... Yeah, whoa. Okay. Hold the phone. I don't want to be flung by a door. That's something that should definitely be fixed. I'm going to be able to leave these. Okay, because I can't jump or anything, and I can't crouch. That's a dead... Something made noise. How did they manage to let him die in here? What made them forsake their civil ways? Maybe because he's not... Oh, uh, something's rumbling outside. Wait, did I see anything? They, I mean, they, they did give him food and something to drink. What are these handprints? Is it from this dude? No, it's... I think it's gotta be something from one of the pictures I saw. No, that's the... That's a little fire that they had. Is one of those stones... Like, one of those stone, uh, templates or whatever? Does that go in here? Nothing happened. I found this in the lighthouse lying in a, on an old wooden boat. It's mainly a piece of rock with an odd symbol carved out, but upon closer inspection of the object is quite remarkable. It's surprisingly light and the texture is smooth on the carving, but the backside is so sharp it almost cut my hand the first time I held it. Whilst the cra craftsmanship of the symbol is impressive, the shape is very strange and rather unpleasant to look at. So I've got two that are near, pretty much identical. I recovered this from the grasp of a corpse locked up under the lighthouse. That cadaver was such a dreadful sight I can't take it out of my head. He was dried up resembling a statue and he had such a horrifying expression it sent shivers down my spine. In the darkness of that cellar he must have seen something so horrid his heart gave out from the shock. Whoever locked him down there did a truly despicable act. Well, these plates aren't really doing anything, so... But I thought they would fit in here and do something. Wait, there's something in the water. Oh, that might be a piece of broken boat. I'm assuming it's probably a piece of broken boat, so we're just gonna go and follow the path that's more. A path that's probably gonna lead over there. Oh. Wait. Do I have to put that there? Nothing happened. Do I have to put them both in? Are they gonna disappear? We're just gonna nope, it disappeared. So wait, what is that? Do I have to go and explore more to find it, or... I'm very curious what that is. I thought that this would 
do something with that. But no, I think we got to go and explore some more before anything else gets really revealed. So we knew that the occupants of this lighthouse, they must have encountered something. Otherwise, why would they have put gigantic wooden spikes out to protect this tower? To protect this lighthouse? There's gigantic cracks on the glass. There's a dead body in the cellar. So something horrific had to happen here, but we have to uncover what happened. We did see quite a few pictures. One of a humanoid looking thing. Oh, now we're getting a taste of something. Now we're getting a taste of something spooky there. There's a little dark over there. Our man's not going to comment. I didn't do that. Boys, get out of my head. Oh, dude, that is something dark. That is something you do not want to hear. Oh, now we're getting spooky. There's a lot of dead bodies. I'm assuming that these were all... Oh, look at... Yeah, no, these were all... For a ritual. Because look at where they all are. Their head is... Each head is in the triangle. So it was definitely... I think it was definitely sacrificial. I'm thinking that these guys were all volunteers, while the rest of these weren't volunteers. Look at the other bodies, too. And he wants me to get into the pit. I don't think we're making it to that boat. Whoa, that's an otherworldly portal. But let's look. Oh my gosh. Terror in this one. The rest of them, their mouths are shut. Their eyes look devoid of anything. These guys look like they were trying to climb out. Whoa, that's a portal. That's a I don't know if I should do that doesn't move I feel like if we do this Andrew nothing good's gonna come of this I'm look there's the creature in the one picture I'm wondering if that creature especially the one that we saw on the drawing this I'm wondering if this is gonna be part of the full game the contents of this are concerning he writes about being stalked by a being so complex he cannot even describe it without sounding like a lunatic it is clear the writer was in deep psychosis after such a long time stranded the stress caused by the struggle to survive can break any man I'm not sure he made it out of here and if he did he no longer is the same yeah um oh certain sounds just picked up oh those are rocks those are not monoliths we know a lot of stuff that has to do with Lovecraftian type stories and anything that's around there has to do has to deal with sanity. Because the more you go insane, the more things begin happening and it's just crazy. Wait. <gasps> it moved. That one moved. Are these ones empty plates or Nope. It's moving. So I'm going with this is like a supernatural type ritual style thing that we're doing. So it's just making it's just making it, all these plates spin. All right, so we're gonna come up here and spin this last plate. Maybe it won't spin if we're lucky. Nope, it's gonna spin. Whoa! What? What? Oh, <gasps> they all stopped. In the world through the eyes of a god. It's like legs. It is, in fact, legs. Those are fingers. What? This. The voice said that this was a key. And to break it free. So now this thing is moving. Was Were these things. Like chaining it underground in no sense. This thing is just moving. Okay, we're gonna head back through the portal. Alright, we're able to leave. 
Maybe now we can put the plates in those uh, statues. Okay, well, let's go put the one plate in over here. Maybe, well, we can't really run, so if anything does, well, we can't run yet. Maybe something's gonna appear and then we can start running, but we're gonna put the first plate in over here, because maybe we gotta go back into the lighthouse. Oh, that started shaking. <gasps> oh, now we can run. See, this is what I was meaning. This place feels like it was always a part of me. As if it has taken a hold of me and won't let go. Yo. Another foot in the sand, but this time sink deeper beneath the shore. What is that over there, though? But what is that? Or maybe, oh, maybe if we take the statue down over here. So let's put this down. All the, like, the slight subtle shaking. As a young boy, I remember my father talking about this island. He described it in a way that would scare the listener. Hmm. He spoke of black butterflies, corpse candles, and broken compasses. Corpse candles. Are you talking about the bodies in the pit, or...? Okay, there's not much to see over here. That thing is just still moving. I'm assuming it's gonna get to a final place and then it's just gonna rest. I haven't seen anything else yet to interact with. We got a dead shark? This island feels like it's maintained, untouched mm -hmm. by time. The wind and the waves pause for a minute to rest. What? The calm before the storm. Well, what was that? Okay, I haven't found anything to interact with. I'm hoping we're not gonna see anything that we have to fight or run away from yet. But that thing is getting closer and closer. Ooh. That sound is nice, though. Oh, we're just getting farther and farther out. Is I guess gonna stop us at some point? Yep, stop us right there. Man, sounds picking up. So something's happening. I'm gonna go this way. We haven't been able to pick up anything as like a weapon, so I don't know if we're gonna fight anything. Maybe this will be in a style of like a survival style game, where it's if you see certain things, you just you just have to run. He's just continuing on his path. Wait, there's something there. What is that? Despite his fear about the island, he would often come here fishing some very colorful Whoa. fish. I remember finding myself quite disturbed as I watched him stuff his mouth with their raw meat. Ooh. Should at least cook it up, my dude. Whoa. I'm hearing some very strange sounds. Oh, that's so weird to hear. Okay, we haven't seen anything else besides that. Or a strange looking creature. Again, besides the gigantic monolith walking around. Monolith, sorry, not monolith. Got a weird statue-like thing over there, so I don't know how important that is. Can't seem to interact with it, but we did get a nice little monologue when we came near it. So let's go back and we're going to explore the other way. We're going to explore over here now. Music's picking up. Um, um, my big thing was I was wondering if, like, two statues, for the fact that they led to, they led to the beach, I thought they were going to be connected. They didn't. Which is fair. I'm waiting to see. Maybe we'll see one of the creatures and the pictures that was in the office. We haven't seen anything. Nothing to interact with over here. No weird statue-looking things, which is nice, which is okay. I just can't get over how beautiful this looks. 
I still hear the monolith walking around just a little bit. I, th I feel like it's slowing down. But not by much. We haven't heard the voice in our head again, which is nice because that's a little. <laughs> that's a little. Hmm. I don't know about you, but oh, there's something over here. We got bodies. Maybe I'm supposed to come over here and get to the. Oh, something popped up to interact with. <gasps> it's more papers. Whoa. We do not dare to walk the shores when the night comes. Something in the dark seemed to follow us in great speed. Oh, if this gets turned into a full game, I want there to be like a day and night kind of cycle. I mean, they're saying like, don't go out at night because something's following us. What do we have to say about the note though? I do not know how to interpret this. The monster described here is horrifying, but I have no reason to believe it is real. What are you even seeing in there though? At the end of the note, it says he will try to photograph the beast, and for some reason, I'm opposed to the idea, even tough. Even though I doubt its existence, I don't want to see it manifest into our reality. What do we have to say about... Wait. This page is filled with information and illustrations of a bizarre-looking humanoid. It's very detailed, and the writer explains the features with such enthusiasm, you'd think he came face-to-face -face with the creature. However, the monster depicted is nothing but an absurd caricature. Caricature, Something like that does not exist. In our world, at least. Not in our world. But in his world, it exists. Oh, you were a little... You were a little close to com for comfort. Can we not interact with any more of these? No, there's some very interesting looking images. Can't go through any of the bags. I don't hear the monolith anymore, so maybe something's happened. We are getting closer to the boat. Is that a plane? Oh, that's a plane. Okay, we're getting close to the boat. I'm thinking maybe something's going to happen and we just got to book it all the way to the boat. But nothing has happened yet. So I think we're fine for now. That is definitely a plane. Looking upon my daughter's toy gave me yeah. some sort of happiness. And I can't take my mind off the idea she's been taken by one of those creatures. Hmm. Oh, well, we can't go explore up there. Yeah, we're still looking for our daughter, but we have the only clue we found is the pocket watch and the toy. So the full game, I'm assuming, is just going to be centered around us trying to find her. Got an open area over here. Oh, it's blocked, so... Or was. Anything over here? Nope. I think this is... With how open this is, I feel like this would be a good spot to have a creature. That would be perfect. That makes you go, nope, nope, nope. You made a mistake of going over there, so now it's like, Solitude I gotta run. Solitude and peace is what a soul seeks after being free. Hmm. Did they die in vain? It appears they were murdered. Mm. What a horrible way to find solitude. But murdered by what? That's my question. This boat looks somewhat intact still. So maybe we can use it and get out to the monolith, or maybe there's something to explore here. What? Now we can jump. There's a doll. Whoa. That's that creature looking thing. What do we have to say about the picture? I cannot believe my eyes. This picture shows a monstrous sea creature flaying its tentacles around. The photograph appears to have been taken closer to the shore too. The sea is vast and the depths are full of dangerous specimens, but this monster is too much. I don't know what lies at the bottom of the sea, but seeing this fiend so close to the shore is nightmare inducing. So the guy did in fact get a picture. Oh, I didn't even bother inspecting this one. I got it. The statue has a very malevolent aura. I know taking this with me was a grave mistake. Nevertheless, I believe this artifact is connected to this mysterious island. I have never seen anything similar and I do not understand what it represents. To me, this is just an abstract piece of art. There was a page with some insight about the object, but after explaining how it was retrieved, the author went on a rather morbid tangent. Okay, so now I can jump, so I'm assuming 
That's got to be for a very important reason. Can I climb? Nope. So, yeah, that picture was rather taken. It seemed like it was taken right there. Oh, dozens of pictures. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This picture shows two creatures creeping up the rocks about to attack three misfortunate sailors. The appearance of the aforementioned creatures is very similar to illustrations found on a page I discovered in the lighthouse. It doesn't make sense. I thought those creatures were a figment of somebody's imagination, but here they look so real. Could this picture and the bones of those men be proof of their existence? I'm gonna go with that's a yes. But yet nothing has shown up. Nothing has revealed itself to us yet. What is it waiting for? Wait a minute, what is that? Oh no, I think it's more broken pieces of a boat. So I guess we can't, oh and that's chained down anyway, that's anchored. We couldn't use the boat even if we wanted to. I'm assuming I go this way. I don't trust this. I'll do anything. Anything to see her face again. Oh no. My dude, no, there are just some things that sh we should not do. There's some lines we should not cross. I understand. Like, me, myself, as a parent, like, I would do anything for my child, but... I'm pretty sure they want us to bring him back. The old... The old sleeping god. And if that destroys the world, are we really... Get rid of them. Are they not part of your world, though? Wait, is this all you're wanting us to do? Just fight these things? We're not... We're not doing anything... Dumb? Okay. <gasps> Get an axe. Oh, your running animation is weird. Come on, die. Oh! Right in the neck. You look like mermen. No, there's this TV show that was on Shudder. Like, that's what these creatures remind me of. But I can't take the axe with me, so we do get to f actually fight in this game. But to a degree, because now we've lost our weapon. What are the, you the bones of? I think the show on Shudder was called Shiver? Could be wrong. Someone correct me in the comments down below if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, someone went for a little dive. Wait a minute, what are we doing? What what are we fully doing, my dude? There's another broken down plane. Are, are we going into the actual water? Or? I'm seeing stuff over there. Because look at that. You can see things are highlighted. I can't see anything moving, so I don't know if we're going to see anything down there. We probably are, so that's going to be... Hey, joyous time, I'm... Mm. Oh no, here we go. <gasps> Whoa. Now, through the depths, you will find your destiny. Okay. I thought, well, I mean, my destiny is to find my daughter. That's what I'm... Oh, I don't like the sounds of that. So many different noises that I'm thinking like something's crawling right behind me. I don't trust even that. I don't trust... What was that? Um... That looked like the creature from the illustration. I could just be seeing things. Could just be things needing to render properly. 
but I don't think so, not when it comes to Lovecraftian horror style. If you think you see something, you probably saw something. Oh, there's something to inspect over here. Oh, what is it? Oh, another statue. Oh, Cthulhu. Wait. What happened? We picked up the statue, and everything just went dark. Wait, what? Can we check our inventory? No, we can't. Beware. Try to avoid it? You mean like I won't be- I- I can't avoid it! I can't avoid it! I can't avoid it because it just came right after me! Oh! I... this doesn't work. This doesn't work! Oh, I died. I died. So I just gotta run. Because this thing just comes for you. Okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, there's not much you can do to avoid it. Just freaking run! Oh my gosh, he's like right behind me. Oh, I don't think I went the right way. Oh, there's a door. He's like right behind me! Oh god! Just run. Just freaking run. Oh, these are the souls of the damned, huh? Oh yeah, these are all the souls of the dead people? Is that it? Oh, hi Cthulhu. All of you back off. Oh my god! And now, my watcher, you stand before him. The slobbering god. I had sealed him from within. Break him free. Hold on, you want me to break a f break the slumbering god free that you sealed within? Why did you seal him in if you wanted him free? Oh, he's moving. Oh, you look so slimy. Okay, so I'm gonna say this right now. This triangle did diddly squat against. Sh I don't even know how to say that name. Okay, I guess we're breaking the- Oh, your eyes are open. I can't move. Did I, I can't shoot either. Oh, you're big. You're bigger up close. I don't want to pay the price. I don't want to pay the price. Please don't. No. I don't want to- Please don't. I don't want to pay the price. Where's my daughter, though? Where's my daughter? I thought you were gonna help me find my daughter. You lied. You. Wait. Okay, well now we're back on the island, so now we're out of hell. Thank God. Cause that was her. Didn't enjoy that part. And that triangle really did nothing. Oh, hi, Cthulhu! Now you're in the real world! Oh no! Oh, please stop! You're getting too close to me! Oh, you're really close! Wait, that was it?! No! No! Dude! Thank you everyone, I hope you enjoyed the demo. Due to coronavirus lockdown, the narrations were recorded using a cell phone. I want to thank everyone who helped me with their positive energy from social media, made this come true, and kept me going. What, what you saw in the demo is just the tip of the iceberg. There's much more to come. All the characters in the game were created based on real life people that are close to me. Dude! You can reset the story and play again from, from the beginning. Oh my gosh! Yeah, no, I want more. I want more.
Dude, that was that was incredible. That was great for a demo. I definitely want more. Okay, I so definitely want more. I like the fact that you know it did throw you into a sequence where you didn't have to run away from the creature. Because I mean, probably the triangle would have worked against the humanoid-looking beings, or maybe it wouldn't have. Maybe it would have given you this false sense of like, oh, you do have a weapon to protect yourself, but it's not used to actually fight. It's a weapon used to open the doors. It's not It's not even a weapon. It's a tool. But that was a great... The few things I would have fixed is you do feel a little sluggish at first. So maybe give you the ability to run from the start. Give the ability to jump from the start. But I understand, like... Jeez. But I do understand why, you know, they're revealing those things little by little. Because it gives you the sense of, oh, it's just like this walking simu simulator type game. My thing is, if you're going to give that ability to run, maybe make it that you have to run away from something, and that's why it's saying, okay, now you should run. Now you need to run. Because if you don't, you're going to die. Same with the jump thing. Like, maybe give some obstacles that you have to jump over. Maybe you have to jump out of the boat because the boat's going to be sinking because some, something's going to come out of the water and start eating up the boat. I don't know. Do something like that. That would be really cool to reveal the mechanic of, oh, now you can run, now you can jump. There was the thing with the shark with the water spraying out of the eye. I would definitely fix that. The other things I would fix is maybe make it look like the water's crashing up against the waves as it's coming back, as it's coming towards the shore and it's coming against the rocks. Like maybe show the water coming up a bit more before receding. Same with the rocks. Just make it hit, splash up a bit, come back. Maybe have a few of the water droplets hitting you in the face if you're looking at it. Do something like that because that would be, I think, really cool. But I don't know how long this actually took to make. But this was so well done for a demo. Like, this was beautifully made. The style of it is just amazing. Maybe make Cthulhu a little more textured. I know he's supposed to be dark and mysterious, but maybe make a little bit. I like that he looks really slimy, because, I mean, sleeping, slumbering god beneath the ocean, that is absolutely terrifying. So, I mean, he would be a little slimy for the fact that he also is, like, octopus-like. So, But maybe just add a little bit of different texture. But other than that, like, this was so beautifully made. I'm going to be keeping an eye out for a full release. When it gets fully released, I'm definitely going to do a playthrough of it on the channel. Because I want more of it. I want to see more of it. I want to see where this goes. I want to see possibly where Ellie went. And I want to rescue her. I definitely now am getting more understanding of, like, maybe what happened to the sailors was that, oh, those creatures came and they killed them. And we had to rid them because maybe they stood in the way of something. I don't know. Maybe because anytime someone came to the island, those creatures killed the newcomers. And that was keeping them from actually awakening Cthulhu, which would make sense. Maybe the other creatures were killing other inhabitants of the island because, you know, they were just coming and stumbling. So maybe that's why they built all the spikes. Because, like, that, it makes my mind go, like, what could have happened? And so, like, I'm building this up so I cannot wait for a full game so maybe I can understand a bit more. Definitely, definitely reveal something like that, too. Of, like, why it is you're killing the mermen-looking things. Definitely in the one illustration I would have loved to have seen that creature. I didn't, which is sad. Maybe if I had done something different, it would have showed up. I don't know. But other than that, it was amazing. If you guys want to check it out for yourselves, I will put the link in the description below. As well, if you want to check out some of the other scary games I've played and some of the other games I've played for series, check out the links in the description below. Comment down below and let me know what you thought of this game because this was so cool and so beautiful as well comment and let me know what other games you want me to play i take every suggestion into consideration and above all if you are new to this channel and you're liking what you're seeing hit that subscribe button all right hit that subscribe button if you're new and then hit that bell so you get notified when i put out a video that way you won't miss out but until the next video guys have a good one my name is swift edge bye